We're looking at what is a web-based presentation tool. Uh, the, the key to it is it has this map design. So when we were seeing that zoomed out um, uh, view, we were seeing the whole presentation in one space. And uh, I think if you were really using Prezi correctly, uh, that, would, that would be a picture of something, really. I mean, um, uh, we, we shouldn't think of this as a replacement for PowerPoint. Uh, it's another tool. So there may still be ways, reasons why, uh, okay, for this particular um, presentation I'm giving, PowerPoint is the best tool because it is a, a linear presentation that I need to, to give. And for this other presentation, um, it isn't linear. It's, I, I'm going to be uh, going big picture, small picture, big picture, small picture. And uh, it would help them to, to see um, that overall framework as, as they're going through it, okay? And when you sign up for the account, make sure that you follow uh, the appropriate link to get the educational version uh, because otherwise um, they describe the uh, offline version as is, is something that you pay the premium price for. When you click the down arrow in PowerPoint, you go to the next slide. When you click the down arrow in Prezi, you zoom out. Um, so uh, just a little tip for you there. So here's some ways that, that I found um, Prezi and PowerPoint to be uh, different. Um, the first being this idea, again, of linear or nonlinear uh, navigation. Um, and um, I want to be clear that you could make a linear Prezi if you wanted to. And you can make, uh, you can use PowerPoint nonlinearly. Um, there are, uh, there have been uh, add-ons made for PowerPoint that try to make it more like Prezi. Um, the one that I tried, uh, I wasn't very satisfied with. I didn't, I felt like it uh, let me zoom in a little bit, but I didn't really have the, the, the full control. Um, but you can also do things like with PowerPoint, if you know the number of the slide in, in presentation mode, you can jump around. Um, and so if you you know, knew somebody or you were somebody who was really good with overhead transparencies where you could just throw those things on there, had just a whole track of them. I mean, that's, um, you know, something that can be done with, with PowerPoint um, if you know your, um, your slides well enough. But I don't think you can ever really duplicate that uh, ability to, to zoom out um, in the same way uh, that, that Prezi does it. The, uh, first of all, the, the layout, um, uh, in terms of the way that Prezi, I mean, Prezi is just a, a, a blank canvas. And you, you go into it, you have a blank canvas, and you can put anything anywhere. And so you can start working and just work your way out. Um, and in some ways, that's, that's liberating. In some ways, it's, it's frustrating uh, because you're trying to stay organized or you think you want to, like, uh, clump it around or something, and, and it's starting to shoot off this way. And so when you zoom out, you're, you're kind of wondering what's going on. So when we talk about a workflow, um, it really helps to kind of think through before, before you begin. Um, and then, you know, we know how, I mean, PowerPoint was based on the idea of a slide projector. So it's, it is set up to be a stack of slides. Um, in terms of um, uh, the, the format, as John's mentioned, uh, it is web-based, but you do have uh, the downloadable version with the, with the EDU. Uh, whereas um, PowerPoint has now gone the other way. PowerPoint was desktop-based, but there is um, web apps for PowerPoint. So you now uh, can use the 2010 version of, of PowerPoint uh, in a web browser. Uh, there's a way to create that if anyone's interested. And then in terms of the, the printing options uh, with, with uh, uh, Prezi, um, what, it, what it does when you tell it to print is it turns um, uh, each of your frames, we'll talk about what frames are, but it turns each of your frames into really like a slide. And so those then become pages for you. And, and so it creates a PDF document for you. And um, it's, if you, for example, if you had like the title and then you um, zoomed out and you showed the title and 
the content that was below the title, um, those would be two slides. I mean, if if we were printing it out. So what you have to be careful with is is as you're you know zooming around and framing things in on your on your map, that if you you know have 60 places that you visit, uh, you could end up with this like 60 um, 60 slides if you were giving it to someone to have as a printout. Um, so you, what you might find yourself then doing is needing to edit the PDF and delete pages uh, because you know the person looking at it doesn't need uh, all the zooming in and out that maybe you're doing uh, as you're focusing on things in your presentation. Uh, and so then in, in PowerPoint you do have this ability when you say print, you know, do you want to print the, the, the slides out? Do you want to print handouts out? Do you want to print notes out? And there's lots of options for you um, the, way, the way that it's currently set up. And I think it's probably, in, in Prezi's case, it's just a maturity, product maturity issue. It's a new product. Um, uh, it's actually out of Hungary is where it began. And they have now have a San Francisco office. Uh, so it's, you know, it's, it's uh, one of these... Um, projects that probably started pretty small with uh, one or more, I don't really know the story, but one or more people's idea and it came together and it's taken off to the point where they're, um, you know, they're just waiting for Google or Microsoft to buy them out now and um, then they can start their next company, just like everybody else.